Okay, this is the sonic generator tube, for lack of better terms. Okay, sonic generator tube goes from the idea that we know about um, agitating the atoms in copper coils using magnetism on a magnet uh, or near a copper coil, and both ends of the copper are connected to. I've done it. I'm having a brain fart again. You know what they're connected to, contacts on either side, and it, it, basically if you can connect, uh, connect something to both ends of the copper wire that shows whether there's, there's a current going through it, you see, you see the agitated atoms from the coil when you get it near a uh, magnetic field, it produces electricity, nutshell version, okay? Well, is there another way to agitate the atoms in the copper wire besides running a magnet, spinning a magnet inside a copper coil? Or running a magnet near it. Turns out certain frequencies of sound waves, yes, you can. <coughs> so, certain, certain sound waves and combinations of sound waves inside a tube, because you know how you have a certain uh, type of, of wavelength for different sound waves, have uh, higher frequencies, have, uh, oh gosh, what's it called? There was a string a design example used inside the long string going from one end to the other. When you introduced sound, you saw the string what looked like it went like this, in these shapes like this. There was no movement in certain points, and in between those points, there was up and down movement. Okay, to compensate for that and get agitation all throughout, they rotated the sound wave frequencies. Okay, and the rapid rotation of, of sound wave frequencies at different levels agitates the copper wiring throughout. And because the coil starts at this side where the sound is introduced and there's a little bit of an opening out allowing the sound to flow out at the end and the copper wiring is coiled throughout this tube and then out the end of it, both ends contacting a, the same point where it's measuring electricity, you get electricity. So there's the speaker at this end of the tube, a little opening at the end, but notice it's got a, kind of a, a small opening at the end because you want the sound waves to agitate, stay in here as long as possible before escaping, to agitate this copper wiring in here. Turns out you use sound waves to do the same agitation of atoms in the copper wire that produces electricity as what uh, magnet, magnetism would do. And sound waves, and the amount of sound waves, and the combination of sound waves Experts, of course, by my time frame, have figured out the best combination and how to rotate the different sound wavelengths so that you get almost like this chaotic, uh, it's not a, 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 a pure smooth, if you just do one frequency of sound, low, like a low wave or whatever, that has a, a, a big wavelength where you see the string inside here that's being agitated up and down. It looks like there's footballs every now and then, <laughs> if you would. They're looking like they're in the shape of footballs and the points in between the footballs, there's no movement. The experts know what I'm talking about. Well, you, you don't want that because the points in which the, in, in the, um, between the football looking things and the strings, there, there's no movement at all. Okay, we need the agitation to go from this side to that side. We need constant agitation throughout. So they constantly rotate the, the wavelengths. So there's this chaotic, uh, the string, does, it's, just, it's just, it's chaotic inside there. And that's what you want. You want chaos inside that copper wire. You want the atoms to be agitated and producing electricity. So that's what that has to do with the sonic generator tube. Running sound waves from one end is just basically nothing but a speaker. Uh, this is the basic design for it. The experts probably know, uh, even in this time period, would, would have already probably messed with this already <coughs> and know exactly how to work the copper inside the tube and everything. But this is the basic design for it.